Hello everyone. Uh, the date today is 2018, September so 9th and 4th, no 3rd, 3rd, Monday 3rd. And today will be the final part of this series, I guess, of me now doing... Like, okay, so initially we started with a rough ball that was this. Turn this off. See, look, a rough ball. And if we play this... It was a jumping ball that went, you know, from here to there, over, over this wall. Next, we did finished. <clears throat> Excuse me. The finished outline, or, or whatever you could call finished outline. Basically, more clear line works and stuff. Today will be the last part, which is shading, which will go on top of the finished. Let's, so. Oh no, there is invisible. What did I do here? Should be a paint layer, right? Hang on. Got to troubleshoot this. Uh, cut layer. Shading. There we go. And I will be using. There is it. Uh, trusty quick shade. This should work. Oh, and so. Before we begin shading, we have to first figure out what light source we what light source we want and where does it where is it going to go. You know what? I'm going to put this in rough because no no it's not usually seen enough. So um, I don't know. I guess we'll say this way. So this is the arrow. So that that's how the light goes. That's how the light's working. Just adjusting the mic. I think that still works. Wait, hold on. Uh, I don't know, I just don't want it to shake that much. This works. So if I do that, uh, then I do, let's see. So that's the rough. Moving back to shade, uh, the shading will be, mm -hmm. well, it's supposed to be ball shaped, so we can start with that. So we start off with you know, dark shading here. This one should be very simple because, I mean, it's just, just the ball. And then it gets gradually lighter. And so yeah, now we have a ball. That's only one frame, not not the whole frame. Oh yeah, and I should probably do a cast shadow. Uh, I'm not entirely sure you can see this. Will there be a cast shadow here as well? Like these, there will be like light shadows here. I don't know. We'll we'll fix that if if we want that. We'll put that on layer one. So that's the first one. And I forgot to make a layer for this. So, uh, shoot. This isn't good. I could add a layer, but if I add a layer, this will be deleted. Is there a way to copy? Uh, maybe if I control C, command C, uh, new lay, uh, control V, nope, nope, oh well. We'll just say that's lost in the ether of time. At least we, we know what, what it should look like, so. And maybe I could make this better, so let's see. Dark shade here, slightly dark shade here, and then it should get lighter, well, progressively lighter. So, darkest shade down here as well. And then, so top and right side should be lightest. And it should follow the curves of the ball. And let's see. That works, I would say. That works. Uh, maybe I can make this side a little darker. Maybe do like a slight cast shadow here. Like the things that come out of the line look like it's casting the shadow. So there's that. Uh, next part. We'll add a new uh, keyframe. Let's, add, let's see the onion. <laughs> I don't know how... Well, actually, you know, maybe this could help because maybe this will tell me... Okay, so let's see. This is where the sphere wa sphere was, so now it's squashed. That means this one should also still be dark. 
but then it, it should get a little lighter. And actually, this one should remain dark, so maybe this is slightly turns a little bit more dark than usual. Actually, I don't know. W would it? Um, let's turn it off. Let's turn off the onion skin. Does it look normal on this? Maybe. I'm not sure. Mm, but the shading looks fine, I guess. If you know, if you take account to light source. Where is the light source? Oh yeah, it's in layer rough. Well, we know basic light source. I remember, there's an arrow right here. Right there, there's an arrow-ish. Somewhere there, but we, we can, we know it's, it's going this way. It's going down, it's going down and to the left. Starting at the right and going to the left. Okay, so now we squash the ball even more. New keyframe. And then, um, onion skin. So yeah, still the darkest part is here. Um, then I have to just make, remember, follow the curve. Follow the curve and everything will be fine. Yeah, I think everything's fine. Mm. Turn off the onion skid to see how it looks. Eh, it's fine. I don't know, does it look fine? It looks like the sheet. Let's see. Do it goes down. I don't know, the darkest part there is I think I have to darken these areas actually. Take oh back to Okay. So yeah, darken these parts so that you know light. That's how light works, right? When it's blocked. And then the second one. Yeah, this one really needs it. So, doing it this way. And... So there's that. Casting shadow as well. Yep. So the next one is it jumping, which I think will be the hardest one because I'm not sure how the light will change. I don't think this helps. Uh, the onion skin won't help. I know the darkest point has to be here. I'm just not sure where the curve, where the curve, where the curve goes. Um, maybe this way will be fine. It's such a jarring way of like putting the curves, though. Oh well, we'll we'll, we'll see how this works, and then. I'll probably uh, control Z, control. I'll keep control Z until like I get to the end. Like, actually, now that I think about it, this does not seem right because it should actually be more like this. Because this is supposed to be in light. Because see, rays are coming down similar to that. So that means light is striking here. So actually, what they could do is more like this. And progressively get darker. Although I'm not sure how the quick change in lighting works, but okay. Hmm. What should I talk about? Um, I don't know. You know what I'll talk about? Um, YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure how many of how many else you know upload videos, but how do you go? Well, I don't know. Like, that doesn't look right. Why does that look right? Okay, anyways, back, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, how does 
how do you upload video videos to how do you upload the sound of video no the sounds that I use to upload the videos um, they sound fine on my end they, they sound loud and they are you know they have they, they just you know they, they don't require you know putting up the sound volume to be really high in order to you know be heard but for YouTube it gets quieter for some reason and I don't know why so if anyone has any tips to deal with that for future me because I know nobody's here yet maybe I'll find it later I don't know we'll see so we start up this then So that jumps. Actually, I think I should make uh, keyframes for every single instance of where I'm going to shade so that I know. Okay, so this is where so I don't have to keep making new keyframes. Um, let's see, how many more are there? Let's see, so there's one more striking the ground, one flattened, one more resting, uh, getting to this resting state. Okay, let me do the same thing here where it was like shaled like this. See, that makes it very fast. So let's see. Hmm. Oh yeah. Um. Back to that YouTube. Um. I'm not entirely sure what goes on on YouTube's back end to make it slightly quieter for some reason. But yeah, that's probably the reason why all my previous videos are very quiet. It may also be the problem with maybe output gains I use instead of just regular gain on OBS. I don't know. I don't entirely know. I'm not entirely sure how these things work. I'm making an effort to learn, but I'm not entirely sure right now. I have to keep making videos because, well, I can't just not make videos. I gotta experiment, and this is my way of experimenting with videos. So yeah, that's that. Let's see. What else could I talk about? I don't know, we could talk about shading and how shading works. Well, shading basically is this. Um, contrasting tones and light and stuff so that it gives an illusion of depth, or at least a way of creating an illusion of depth. I don't know the way I, I don't know what kind of shading I'm doing. The shading I'm doing is very just lines and curves. Mm. Why am I doing so? There we go. All I need is one set curve to follow, and then everything else falls into place. That's all I need. You can tell I'm not a very good conversationalist. I'm not sure what to talk about. Just. Talking in general is weird and hard because, well, I don't know what to talk about with people. What do you talk about with people? Just, hey, look, let, let's talk about the weather. I mean, that that's something easy. I don't know why people don't like it. Just, I guess maybe, maybe it's because it's meaning, meaningless conversations, but meaningless conversations are easy. <laughs> I don't want to talk about weird things and other th stuff. Like, can we just get to the meaningless conversation? Like, I'd rather a meaning, well, I'd rather no conversation than, a, than any conversation. But I'd rather a uh, me a meaningless conversation with strangers than a meaningful one, because I don't know those strangers. What do I talk? Like, please don't bring me into your life story yet. I I I don't need to play a major role. Please, I already play a major role in a few. I, I just need a few people to maybe play a major role. That's it. 
I don't want more people for me to play a major role in. You can have me as a like a figure, uh, an object or something, but don't make me play that major role because I'm bad at acting in in stuff. Well, I'm not that bad at acting. I hope. Maybe I am. I don't know. I've never acted. Well, is that true? Mostly true, I guess. I've never acted in something worthwhile. Like just children's stuff. You know, when when I was a kid, we used to have school plays and stuff. So yeah, that type of acting. You know, those meaningless types of actions that people assume like, okay, so they don't they aren't really true achievements. They're just stepping stones for future endeavors, but those stepping stones can be really important and formative and stuff. So don't don't knock them. Just, you know, make they, they are important. They are very important. They are probably the most important thing because if you don't have that, you will never you don't have that foundation to do things. I'm not sure why I have that random. Okay, so this is a random yeah, how do I delete this? Let's see. No. Uh move frame. Okay, so I was one off. Okay. Let's look at it right now. How does it look right now? Start from the beginning. Let's hide rough. I don't think we need it anymore, but... I guess it's coming along nicely. Uh, I do think that this one might need a little... This needs to be darkened up a bit. The, the contrast between light and dark... Wait, no, wrong way. Wrong way contrast. Actually, I don't know how I did this. I, I did it this way. Why did I do it that way? Oh, well. All the striations and stuff. Like, I need that deep, dark, pure black so that it's, you know, like that contrast between light and dark. Ow. Uh, don't don't hit the la uh, don't hit the tablet too hard, or else you'll call it, you'll damage it, and then you'll need to buy a new one or or use use the mouse. Oh no, the mouse that would be bad because. Well, I mean, probably using a mouse isn't that bad because if if you're skilled, you you know how to do things with a mouse. It's just that I'm not skilled with a mouse. I have skills in just doing this. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, then I have what else? This, so let's see, um, maybe here, start there and then go down, keep going down, keep going down, okay, maybe I should learn how to mask, like, learn to get a masking layer so that I can just erase those little things like I, I know this one works kind of well because hey it works like a real eraser instead of erasing the whole thing just just erase you know like make it lighter and then I can redraw it and stuff okay just do that oh no very very gently make light I guess an anti-reflection or anti-specular reflection thing. I don't know. I think that's what I'm doing. Instead of doing a specular light there, I'm doing a specular very dark, so it assumes like this is light. It's a very weird way of lighting, but I don't know. Maybe in a year's time I will come back to this and say, why, why did I do this? Why did I do this? But, but hey, hey, me in the future, I didn't know that, you know, all the things you know, you, I will learn them for you. And what are you going to do? You're going to come and criticize me for, you know, not knowing? No, you can criticize me for my art and how I need to improve. But don't come and criticize me because it's just, just to look for, like, a validation that you're fine. No, you, you, come, you come to criticize me to improve, not to just, you know, see how this weird person continues to do things. Hmm. 
let's see. This one will be slightly darkened a bit because we're now in shade, shadow, and hold on. And we'll say there's light shading here because of the the hill. And then there's some slight, you know, like okay, that that's a bit much, but you know, like just just some small lightings that it looks fine. And then comes this light still has to hit so hmm. so we have this then we have this just to say we start with the darkest dark and then we move light or we can start with the lightest light and then move to dark I'm not sure how you what else we could do. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I think I'm gonna need to end this soon because you know, neighbors. But um yeah, I think I should mostly be done. They don't start right now, watering. Uh let's see. Still at a loss of words to what to talk about. I could talk about. No, I can't talk about that. Not yet, at least. Oh well. Uh, what am I? What have I been doing specifically to improve myself? Well, I've been watching videos to understand uh, perspective, like one point, two point, three point, four point, five point. It's more than it's more than three points. Yes, it's more than three points. Okay. Very weird though. Like four point perspective and five point perspective gets weird. It's like I think four point perspective is kind is it is it four or five that is fish eyed? I think it's four that's fish eyed and then five is the um the like a ball type thing. Like if you were looking at it as if you're uh, on a sphere. Like a like a mirror sphere. That's what it would look like. But yeah, I think that's mostly it. I guess we'll do one last, you know, look through of this to make sure that everything works out fine. I think I actually need to fix this bit because this feels way too dark. Or rather not dark enough on this end because this is shaded. You're supposed to shade this. Why isn't this shaded? Light that does not allow it to go. This one looks way too. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, this looks bad. So let's see. Do this. Make this slightly shaded. Mm, I think that's good. As good as it'll ever be when it comes to this. This one, just to follow you know the convention of the previous one, needs to be a bit darker. At least when it comes to this. This one also needs to be a bit darker. At least on this side especially. So there's shading. Everything is shading well. You know, I probably would hate to be an animator right now because I I don't know how to do all the hotkeys, the like masking and stuff, and oh, that would I, I think doing it this way. Well, I guess it's painstaking because I got nothing else to do. I'm just talking. I mean, if I was doing this in like silently, I probably could easily do this. But I mean, I'm talking to you, everyone here. 
You're not the only one. You're not the only one who hears me. There are all the other people who can hear me. And I wonder what they think about you. I don't know. <laughs> I think they really just care about me. I don't think they really care about you unless you're doing something to do something. I don't know. Whatever you're doing to do something. But for the most part, they probably don't care about you. They only care about me. I don't know why they care about me. Just, just you don't need to care about me. I'm just this, you know, simple artist. Simple. Very simple. Oh, wait. Okay, let me just delete that. Move this here. And now it works. Now let's... I guess we're almost done. Hopefully this is not a long episode, like, or a video like the other one, too. 30, 24 minutes. Okay, wow, that was long, but let's look at how this works. I mean, eh, doesn't look very good, but, I mean, what, but, it doesn't look very good. But for my first, you know, idea, I think it'll be good to see, like, how I later on think about this, because I'm not sure how the lighting works on this, I'm not sure how the shading works on this, because I keep mess. like, there are so many inconsistent lines, and, okay, that, that's enough. I guess self-criticism. Later, I'll sleep on this to see how, you know, I can improve later on. But I think that'll be it for me today, right now. So, uh, I guess that'll be all. Uh, this series was very much an anomalous. Don't, don't expect this anymore. I probably will just do the regular Saturday thing. Just Saturday. Unless I can get, like, rooms. If I can get a room at the college. Maybe I could get a room at college and just do it there. And then do do it on campus, and then I don't know. We'll see about that. But for the most part, it's just going to be Saturday, one video, one week, every single week. Week. I already said that. Just just weekly. Hopefully, barring any we barring any consequences of life. Uh. So yeah, that'll be all for me. Uh. Goodbye.